Hello everybody, welcome to Infinite Maths. Today we will be understanding about real numbers. See the video very carefully. If you have got speakers then it's fine, otherwise put on the headphone so that you can have a very good audible. In real numbers, things are very complicated. Why they are complicated? Because student does not see the basic thing of that number. He or she always thinks like Ki what is Q, what is R, what is A. So what I am, what my suggestion is Ki stop thinking about what is Q, what is A, what is R. Just focus on the simple fact that every variable has a value. You are not aware of it, that's fine. But it does have some value. For example, you can see 9 by many ways. How you can see 9 as 3 into 3. You can see 9 as 2 into 4 plus 1. You can see 9 as 4 into 2 plus 1. You can see 9 as 5 into 1 plus 4. You can see 9 as 6 into 1 plus 4. You can see 9 as 7 into 1 plus 2. You can see 9 as 8 into 1 plus 1. See, all these are correct, right? What I am trying to explain here is every number, every number, if A is divided by B, then A is of the form B into Q plus R. What is this? This is as simple as Dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Right? Q stands for quotient. What is A? What is B? You have to be very comfortable by looking at all these things. A can be any number, B can be any number. The main thing is you can see any number by via any number. You can even see 9 equals to 10 into 0 plus 9. You can even see that. Right? So, first of all, we, you have to be very comfortable by understanding this logic that what does A divided by B means. A divided by B means nothing but a simple thing that any number can be divided by any number and it can be represented accordingly. For example, show that any odd number is of the form 4n plus 1 or 4n plus 3. Here, the person who asked you this question want to tell you that if you see any odd number, any odd number, and if you divide it by divide it by four, then that number, if that number belongs to odd category, then that number would be among this thing or among this thing. 
let A be a number. Right? Now, when A is divided by 4, you can see that A equals to 4 into some quotient plus remainder of You must understand this thing that remainder is always less than divisor because if, a, if the remainder becomes more than the divisor then you are doing something wrong. As you can see by some example, if I try to divide 79 by 4, what I do is, I write 4 times 1 times 4, then I want 39. My next number would be that number which tries, which, which is nearest possible to 39. We can write 8, but we, we will get 8, 32. Why? We don't do that, right? We write 9 and we get 36. Because of the simple fact that we try to reach this point. We try to reach this number and for in order to reach that number, 4 can itself add it 9 times and it can reach 36. Right? We don't take 32 because when we take 32, we would get the remainder as 7. That means 4 has another chance to jump, right? Therefore, this fact always remains in there. Remainder is always less than divisor because if remainder is greater than divisor, then it means divisor has more option. And eventually, after using that option, remainder will again be reduced and automatically it will be less than divisor. Similarly here, R stands for remainder. Remainder can be 0, remainder can be 1, remainder can be 2, or remainder can be 3. If remainder is 0, that means whatsoever number we are talking about must fall in this category. That is A is equal to 4 Q. If remainder falls in this category, if remainder is 1, that means the number which we are considering, it can be any number, right? So, whatsoever that, that number would be, it would be giving us this representation. And if 2 is the remainder, then that number would look like this. And eventually, if the remainder is 3, then that number would look like this. We don't know A, we don't know Q. Because whatsoever number it would be, we try to, with the help of 4, we try to reach that number and whatsoever is left with it, we write it here. See, if the number belongs to this category, at a time it will be one of the categories, it cannot be uh, among all the categories at one time because it's a number and you are dividing it by 4. So either you will get the remainder of 0 or you will get the remainder of 1 or 2 or 3, but you cannot get the remainder of 0, 1, 2, 3 or or a single number itself. That is bullshit. That means A can be look can be seen as two times two. In this case as well, you can take two common and you will be handling this of course. Can you take two common over here? No. Because if you take two common over here, then you will be lining up with this inside. That would be against the natural number thing. So, we are not entertaining any decimal thing. And similarly, we cannot take 2 common over here as well. This is the basic category of odd and even that if a number can be seen as a multiple of 2, then only it is considered to be even number. So, we have taken a number A it is, it is a number at a time, it would be any, but at a time it will be a number and when that number is divided by 4, 
then it will look like this and if this is this is always be small less than divisor which is 4 over here that means remainder should always be less than 4 if the remainder happens to be 0 remainder happens to be 1 remainder happens to be 2 remainder happens to be 3 for a number at a time if the remainder happens to be 0 then it would look like this eventually it would look like this if the remainder comes happens to be 2 then the number would look like this and eventually the number would look like this and again I am telling you that this kind of number which leaves 0 remainder can be seen as a multiple of 2 and eventually can be categorized in the even category. And the numbers which are leaving the remainder 2 can also be seen as the multiple of 2 that means they can be categorized in the even category. But since these two numbers cannot be seen as a multiple of 2 that means they are not even and eventually they are odd, right? Therefore, they are odd. So, this is the solution for the question that it says show that any odd number is of the form 4n plus 1, 4n plus 3. And we have seen that 4q plus 1, 4q plus 3 from those. Right? I hope I am clear with my concept and we will look forward to many more videos like this. Take care. Bye-bye. Enjoy and find